Hey guys, this is Cooking with Kurt, and today I'm going to show you how to make another Red Ribbon favorite, their Uben Cream Cake Roll with Macapo Nut Topping. To start, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to take a jelly roll pan, which is about 10 and a half by 15 and a half inches, and line it with parchment paper. Do not grease the pan or the parchment paper. Next, take a non-reactive bowl like glass or stainless steel, and sift together one cup of cake flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth cup of granulated sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Then add in four egg yolks, one fourth cup of canola oil, one third cup of whole milk, one fourth cup of ube halaya, two teaspoons of ube extract, and half a teaspoon of purple food coloring. Beat this with an electric mixer till it's just combined. Next, we're going to make the meringue mixture. In a separate bowl, add four egg whites, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and beat them together with an electric mixer till it's nice and frothy. Then slowly add in one third cup of sugar and continue beating this mixture. When you start to see stiff glossy peaks like this, the meringue mixture is done. We're going to slowly add this meringue mixture to the cake mixture and gently fold it in one-third of the meringue mixture at a time till it's well combined. Be sure to really scrape the bottom of the bowl for unmixed cake mixture. Then pour this into the prepared jelly roll pan and smooth out the top with your spatula. We're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes or until the cake springs back when gently pressed in the middle. Now, here's my simple trick for getting the cake out of the pan. Take a large piece of parchment paper that's bigger than the cake, place it over the cake, then place a bigger sheet pan over all of this. Then wearing oven mitts because it's still hot, flip everything over. Slide the bottom parchment paper onto the counter and remove the baking pan off the cake. Then peel off the parchment paper that the cake was baked on at this point, cut one inch of cake along the long 15 inch side and about two inches of cake from the short 10 inch side, like this. Set these strips of cake aside and we'll crumble them later. While the cake is still warm, dust some confectioner's sugar onto the cake to prevent it from sticking to itself when rolling. Then, roll the cake with a parchment paper along the short 10 inch side. Making sure that the seam of the cake is down, let it cool to room temperature on a wire rack. While the cake is cooling, we're going to make the frosting. Take a mixing bowl, add in 8 ounces of cold cream cheese, and slowly beat in half a cup of granulated sugar with an electric mixer. When the mixture is combined and continuing to mix, slowly add in 2 cups of very cold heavy cream and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Make sure that the heavy cream is extremely cold, especially if you're making this in the summer when it's hot and humid. Otherwise, the frosting won't thicken. Continue whipping this mixture till it is firm and can hold stiff peaks, like this. Next, we're going to take a food processor. Add in the strips of cake we had cut away earlier and pulse till you get a fine crumbs, like this. Set it aside. Now we're ready to assemble the ube roll. Carefully unroll the cake Spread the frosting over the cake, about 1 fourth inch thick layer of frosting all over the top surface. Then slowly roll the cake up again, the same direction you did before but this time without the parchment paper rolled into it. When you've rolled it all the way, carefully pick up the cake roll and transfer it to your serving dish with the seam side down so it doesn't unroll. Cover the outer surfaces of the cake with frosting, again about a 1 4 inch thick layer of frosting. But remember to save some of the frosting to make rosettes at the top of the cake at the end. Now, just like we did in the ube overload cake video, take the ube cake crumbles and cover the sides and the top of the frosted cake to cover the frosting, like this. I left a white strip on top here, where the macapuno and rosettes will go, to imitate the red ribbon design. We're going to add strings of macapuno, also called coconut sport, which is a naturally occurring variety of coconut that has a soft endosperm. 
and is used in a lot of Filipino desserts. I'm adding the macapuno strings along the top strip of the ube roll. Then finally, put the remaining frosting in a piping bag and create big rosettes on top of the macapuno along the top strip of the ube roll. Refrigerate this ube roll for 2 to 3 hours for the cake to set before serving. Ayan, ito na! Red ribbon style ube and cream macapuno cake roll. Please let me know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this ube and cream macapuno roll. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. Maraming salamat! O sige, kain na! Mmm, sarap. Pero ang sarap ng ube.